Welcome back, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in. As most of you probably know by now, Patreon has purged my account. MailChimp purged my account. YouTube purged both of my accounts. Boy, it's just a world run by fascists. But again, guys, we're going to take our power back. I have on the line Christopher James. His website is awarriorcalls.com. And boy, do we have a lot to talk about today. Because if you don't understand who you are, if you don't understand what a contract is, you may fall prey to the New World Order's latest scheme, universal basic income. I'm going to tell you what that means in just a second. Christopher, welcome. Welcome, Sean. Thank you so much for having me today. It's a pleasure to be here and an honor. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on. Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to talk about constructive fraud. There was a trespass when we were born, guys, unlawful conversion from a man to a legal person, a corporate entity which they think they own. Before we get into that, let me just show you this, a word of caution. Here's what's coming, friends. This is Klaus Schwab. Do you know what his great fascist reset is? Klaus Schwab at the World Economic Forum is laying out a chilling plan, a plan that will require you to accept universal basic income and give up your human sovereignty. Worse still, as his own words confirm time and time again, his technocratic fascist vision is also a twisted transhumanist one, which will merge humans and machines in curious mixes of digital and analog life, which will infect our bodies with smart dust and in which the police will apparently be able to read our brains. Guys, this is no joke. They're already talking about COVID-21. Have you heard that? Have you heard about the folks in the Canadian Parliament that are blowing a whistle on the plans that are coming? Plans to ensnare you in an inescapable technocratic nightmare, all based on the COVID lie? Christopher, it's time we talk about the technocratic future. What does it mean to be a human being? What does it mean to be sovereign? Well, I guess the first thing we have to drill down on is the word that you just used there, human. We're not human. Human is a color, a man. It's another form of separation. When we're born in this world, as my background, so people know quickly, I've got 20 years into this, people. I had enormous horrific wrong and harm that happened to my family. Through my action to right an enormous wrong that occurred to them being financially destroyed, I brought forth and I found an incredible truth that affects all of the people in this world. And as Sean so eloquently alluded to at the beginning of this conversation, when we are born, there is a trespass that occurs against every single man and woman. And the evidence of that is when you are given a birth certificate. Okay, we're, there's a corporation that's created in our names unbeknownst to us when we are born. And that is what uh, Sean is referring to as if there is a contract that actually has been created between you and these governments. They're not governments, they're service corporations. We have to call them what they are, Sean. And when you were speaking about what's going on in Canada here right now, you're absolutely right. A man by the name of Randy Hillier, he's an independent MPP. He spoke on the legislative floor in the Ontario Assembly. And he brought forth the inside document that came from the PMO's office as well, that they are looking at creating all these internment camps. There's a request for proposal that's going out. And they're going to start separating all these people based on this COVID, etc. I would also like to say that yesterday my channel also got not taken down, but I got a strike because I uploaded the incredible uh, video YouTube of there's about 30 doctors that are out in front of the Supreme Court on Sunday, and they brought everything forward to the world, telling them that we are all being lied to on a colossal level, that this is no more than the, you know, the, the, the common flu that's going on here. So my journey, Sean, that got me here today, and I am so honored to be before everyone here today, let me be perfectly clear. I'm not selling anything to everybody, but I'm bringing everybody an incredible truth, a truth that's never been laid at your feet so simply and so powerfully. Why? Because I'll explain it to you in under a minute here. When you're born, Sean, and you're lying in that crib as a baby in that hospital, documentation is created without your knowledge or your parents' knowledge or your consent, more importantly. And what they do is they kill you on paper. There's an unlawful conversion. And people say, well, what does that mean? Well, you're being, com uh, you're being changed from a, a lawful standpoint to a legal position, a legal world. And how they do that is they create a legal person on paper. That's what a legal person is. It's a fiction. That's what the all caps uh, uh, name represents in all the documentation you've been given from these service corporations. And it starts with the birth certificate. And this is huge because when people understand, take the government, you know, the United States or Canada out of the way or whatever your state is and put McDonald's in there or Burger King. Can Burger King go and create documentation in your name and then trick you your entire life, fooling you that you are that actual entity that they've created, that all caps name, that fiction, that corporation, which they claim and say that that's their property. 
Property is a huge word. Would McDonald's be allowed to do that? No. But this is exactly what's been going on. And why it, now the rubber really hits the road is I want everyone to understand is that when we go into our public courthouses, this is why they're all corrupt. Okay, the bar is been doing horrific things to the people in this world for over 100 years, and they are using this unlawful conversion to cloak people as legal persons when they go into the courthouse. That's why you don't have any rights. Okay, and when you learn this on my website, there's four foundational videos, Sean, that the world must go to and watch right now. And I've, I've drilled this right down for people know Sean and I were supposed to do this interview over a month ago and for whatever reason things happened and we didn't get it to to go off and i'm so glad that that time we allowed to get to this point today because many things have happened in a very very incredible way right now in canada the entire world at my website there's a claim sean that's called the sukleski court you'll find it on the downloads page and also under the case file number once you subscribe please subscribe to the site why i asked to also mention jesse casanova from earth united who i'm working with if you go to earthunited.global you'll see that my work is the point of the spear for the entire world right now why because this unlawful trespass that occurred against every single man and woman in this world happens against all of us when we're born it's huge from our very first breath. So now we're bringing this out and into the light for the world to finally see this horrific wrong that has occurred against all of us and more importantly, the solution. And I am so proud, Sean, to be able to stand before you here today. For the last 20 years, I've been working with law enforcement at various levels. I've got a claim right now in the court that is gonna rock this world, right around the world. And it's all based on one question, Sean. Are you ready for it? Do the rules of civil procedure apply to we the people? And the answer to that is in no. And this is why we the people are being blocked at our public courthouses, Sean, because the rules of civil procedure are being applied to us. I've recently uploaded on my Thursday night, check me out on YouTube as well. There's a stream that I did on October the 16th, last Friday, and I out and I wrote out what is going on in Canada here. We have the past OPP commissioner, that's the Ontario Provincial Police, the second largest force on the land in Canada. He was removed from his position unlawfully. Okay, there's massive corruption that's going on with this service corporation called the Government of Ontario. So he came out public on September 13th, 2019, and he told the entire country what was going on. He told the entire country that his officers found massive, well, he said they'd had concerns, but that's a, a tale to tell everybody that they found something to all these appointments, that the man acting as a premier of this service corporation called Doug uh, Ford has been committing horrific crimes against the people. What has happened now is that law enforcement agency that has always supposed to have been independent and has been independent, Sean, for, for over 40 years that it's been in conception, is now under the hood of the Ontario government, okay? And he's screaming at the top of his lungs. So he launched a $15 million suit. But at this moment, right here and now, what's happening in Canada is what I just shared to everybody about the rules of civil procedure. I have got a court case right now. It's called the Sukleski Court. When a man or woman moves their own court, Sean, you never use the legal forms. You access that public courthouse as a man or woman. That's why it's called a public courthouse. If you are dragged into the legal world using legal forms, you're finished. Okay, this is why people know that the lawyers and the bar and the justice system is all corrupt. Why? Because ignorance is our biggest enemy here, Sean. The people have never been shown this truth, but we're laying for them before them here today. Okay, when you understand, when you go to that public courthouse, it's a public courthouse. No man or woman at that public courthouse. And this applies to every common law country right around this world. That's why this is so powerful that this truth is finally in the light right now. Nobody at that courthouse, Sean, can deny you a right to access that public courthouse and move your claim in court against another man and woman. Why? Because every man and woman working in that public courthouse, they are acting. They are acting in a role and they have duties and obligations. Everybody understands that. Well, duties and obligations do not trump the rights of a man or a woman. Can somebody from McDonald's have these duties and obligations and it says that they can lie, steal, commit fraud, intimidate, terrorize their fellow man or people if they're in their McDonald's courts? Of course not. And yet that is what is occurring in all our public courthouses right across this world today. Why? Because the people do not understand how to access them correctly. And more importantly, Sean, they do not understand that unlawful trespass that occurred against us when we were all born. They have compromised the consciousness of man from the very first breath that you and I have taken, Sean. And God bless, there's hundreds and thousands of people that came before me that were trying with all their heart to bring this truth into the light. But because of this internet, it was a double-edged sword. It's allowed people like you and myself to have a platform and a vehicle in and a very before they pull me down as well, but I am also on bit shoot as well. This is a paramount time because right now in Canada, this claim now sits at the Milton Courthouse. 
And the entire world has got to look at this. Why? Because we brought into the light that the rules of civil procedure, we've had four attempts from lawyers, one also coming from the Attorney General's office, to have this case, this, this claim that we've secured, the Sukleski Court, removed from a public courthouse. And why? All of their letters point to one reason. It's not falling under the rules of civil procedure. So I've written back multiple times now to the registrar, and I've informed her or him, that man or woman, that the rules of civil procedure do not apply to I, a man. And this is how this ties into what Sean was talking about with the contract, okay? There's three things, and I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom right now, Sean, and to every man and woman. You've got to spread this like wildfire, people, when you hear this, okay? It's very simple to take down all this corruption that's around us today. When people are trying to move orders against us or pieces of paper, you simply look to that man or woman or you write to them. Do you claim I property? Well, of course they don't because slavery has been outlawed. And then you write, who can administrate property, Bob or Susie, under your control if you're dealing with a mayor or a provincial government leader, just someone that's acting in another role? Who can administrate property without right? Nobody. And then the final question is, I require you produce the obligation, and that means contract, upon which you rely to have such jurisdiction over I, a man. And it's that simple. And what is happening right now in the public courthouse in Milton, Ontario, is I've got the bar on the ropes. They're finished. They're toast. This is going to expose massive corruption. And once the bar is moved out of the way, because this is what they've been using. This is the keys to the kingdom, Sean. They've been using the rules of civil procedure right across our lands from blocking we the people from accessing our public courthouse correctly. And once that's moved out of the way that those rules don't apply to us, it's game on. And what I'm in the process now of doing is bringing Brad Blair, this past minister, or pardon me, the past commissioner of the OPP, who's had this horrific act occurred against him, criminality surrounding Doug Ford and their multiple ministers, I guess, that are surrounding this process that he was involved in. I am looking to bring him to shoulder to shoulder with me so that we can unite and we can gather around that courthouse in the very near future with hundreds of thousands of people. Because this truth only has to happen in one country, Sean. And once it happens, it means all the courthouses in the United States, Canada, England, Ireland, all the common law countries, Commonwealth countries is going to be restored. All right. It's absolutely huge. All right. So, so many things have happened since we originally scheduled this interview. So I think you're right. It's good that we waited. So Randy Hillier up in Canada and others in the Canadian Parliament are blowing the whistle on things they've heard, plans for internment camps around the country to house not only people with COVID-19, and now they're talking about COVID-21. This is never going to end, friends. So... How do we take back our power as people? Because it's not just happening in Canada. In the United States, we're seeing governors like Gretchen Whitmer, Andrew Cuomo, Gavin Newsom, and others treat people as property and demand that they not go to work and demand that they stay home and demand that they destroy their businesses in the name of COVID-19 and staying safe. It's all a fraud. How do we stop this, Christopher? It's actually very simple. The claim that I have before the court right now, the Sukleski court, it's a man and myself, we are prosecuting people under common law, okay? We're accessing the courthouse correctly. This is of historical proportions in Canada here because this has never been done, and yet this is the right that we the people have. The bar, these people at the courthouse, Sean, have to come back and they've now got to produce the evidence that the rules of civil procedure apply to us. And when they don't do that, now the bar has moved out of the way and this goes to the solution. In that moment up here in Canada, where they have a thing on the legal world that's known as a private prosecution, where in their world, words are key. You don't use a word like citizen in common law because, as we know, that's a slave. But in their world, they say a person, that's what they like to refer to in the legal realm, can come forward if the police or for whatever reasons no one is laying charges against another man or woman, the people can come before the courts and they can move a claim and charge and prosecute those people privately. But that's in the legal world. When you do that in the legal world, the attorney generals, the crown, which control all these courts, can come in and take over your property, your claim, immediately because you're moving under the rules of civil procedure. So how we do it in the lawful world, in the common law world, my claim that's before there now within the Sukleski court, even though it's surrounding an estate act, okay? The foundational truth that's right there before everybody is that these people that have been trying to block us at the courthouse, they've got to bring forward now the obligation, the contract that the rules of civil procedure apply to I or any other man or woman in this country. And when they don't do that, that's where the solution comes. That's when I will access this public courthouse. And in a heartbeat, I will get warrants for Justin Trudeau, Doug Ford, and every attorney general right across this country put out 
for them to be brought into court. And then it's over in three questions. They have to come forward. See, all this theater that's going on in the world, Sean, is affecting the, the consciousness of mankind because where these truths are supposed to be brought forth and into the light, it's not on the mainstream media. It's not all this convoluted stuff that's going on on the internet. It's supposed to be done in a public courthouse right? The law, that's where we bring the law in. So we're not out fighting in the streets. When we've got such a state of emergency right now in this world, that's why this public courthouse is so powerful for every single man and woman. And the second that we push the rules of civil procedure out of the way, it's three questions, Sean, and I want everybody to write it down. I would simply have Doug and Justin Trudeau sitting there. Remember, they're people, they're your fellow man, their designations do not come into this, into this court, right? Justin Trudeau is the man who's acting as prime minister for a service corporation called Canada. Now, Doug, that's really important. I wanted to ask you about that. I don't mean to interrupt, and I want to hear these three questions, but I jotted down a note when you mentioned it. The crown. You mentioned the crown. I want listeners in the United States of America to understand we are not subjects of the crown, and we have a Second Amendment. The biggest blessing we have left, Christopher, in this country, should Donald Trump lose, is we have weapons. We are well armed. We will not give up our Second Amendment rights. And believe me, if Biden gets in, that's the first thing he's going to do is try to come after the guns. They're doing it all over the world. We see what's going on. We saw what happened in Australia. Yep. We know what's going on in New Zealand with these lockdowns. Canada, Justin Trudeau, would like you all to turn in your guns. And Justin Trudeau is a hand of the queen. He's literally a puppet of the crown. And I want to talk about that because I played this soundbite a lot. Maybe I'll play it again. When Justin Trudeau was sworn in as prime minister, he swore his allegiance to the queen and her privy council. I, Justin P.J. Trudeau, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors. So help me God. And people think the royals are ornamental. They think Queen Elizabeth has no real power in Canada, in Australia, in New Zealand. Her bust is just on their silver coins, but never mind that. She has no power. She's just ornamental. I want you to talk about the power of the crown. How are you going to get Justin Trudeau to comply and show up in court? Well, this is where Brad Blair, who we talked about with the OPP, we have to do this with law enforcement. And we know that law enforcement has been corrupted, their consciousness right around this world. And the higher ups in all levels of law enforcement are corrupt because their, their entire business model has been based on fraud. They've not been given this truth, Sean, that we're talking about here, about this unlawful conversion. This conversation that you and I are having, Sean, this should have happened with our mother and father to us, and then their, their, grand, their parents to them and so forth. But that's why this truth is so important. When people understand about the trespass when we're born, how you get Justin Trudeau into a court, he's just a man. He's a man that's simply operating and acting as the, the leader of this large service corporation, this crown corporation in Canada. So when I bring him into court, he's going to be asked three simple questions and under oath or affirmation. Do you claim I or any man or woman in this country are your property, Justin? And he's going to say, well, no, absolutely not. Thank you. And who in this country, Justin, or world can administrate property without right? And he's going to say, no one. That's right. And then the last question is, you're going to say, I require you to produce the obligation upon which you rely to be committing all these orders and lockdowns that you've been doing with any man or woman in this world. See, contract makes the law between people. It's that simple. This is what's being exposed is as you've eloquently talked about. We're not property. And what you also mentioned about Hillier, he actually brought, these are documents that he was given that have been actually written up. This was not some word of mouth thing. He read the actual transcript. It's on my website, on the House floor and the legislator. He's going, what is going on here? And you're absolutely right. Justin Trudeau's coming after the guns. They all are. This is a global effort because who's behind the COVID-19? The same people that did this trespass against us, Sean, when we were born. The central bankers, the monarch, and the pope. They are the ones that put this system into place long before Sean or I came into this world or many people listening to this message right now. And that's why we must all rally around the simple truth. Bring the truth that the rules of civil procedure do not apply to we the people. And all of a sudden, people like Judy Mikovits, who I've got an interview with that I did eight weeks ago, that I've been holding back is explosive when the world hears this now. Because she's been to court eight times, Sean, and not once has she been able to put her evidence on the record, firsthand knowledge surrounding Fauci and everything that's been going on at Fort Detrick. That's a big problem. But she's going to have that access now once she moves her claim in court, okay? It'll be the Mikovits court at her local courthouse. 
That's the, the power of what is actually going on here. But in Canada, I'm doing everything within my power right now to come together with Brad Blair, this past commissioner, because there's, I think everyone knows in this country now after that press conference and then my video last week that the OPP has been compromised and we need to restore it and reset it. And there's great people that work in law enforcement, Sean. I want them all to know that. I'm doing this also for all of you. I love you with all my heart. But we must stand on this truth that's before us. And once we access our public courthouse once, properly and correctly, and the world's going to see this in real time, it's going to be streamed, that is going to be the lightning rod that is going to race around this world. And everyone that is in the same position that I'm in, that has evidence of corruption, are going to be able to move their claims in court like lightning through that courthouse. Remember, the minute that I subpoena under a warrant, uh, Justin Trudeau and Doug Ford, for these, this claim that I'm making, I'm under full liability myself if what I claim is not be true. And that's why it's very simple. When the truth is present, very few words are required, and you only have to address those three questions. Who claim my property? Who can administrate property without right? And produce the obligation upon which you rely to be making all these demands and orders and trespasses against me, right? They don't have a contract with the people. They're a service corporation like McDonald's, and they are not organic, by and for the people. So this is a huge moment that we have here. This truth has been trying to come forth for a very long time, Sean, and we finally have this moment in our world. If we can just get this light out and get everybody on board. I've had people writing to the lawyer, uh, Julian Faulkner, for Brad Blair. Why? To bring us together. It's time I do not, you know, the bar itself is a massive criminal organization, but there are great people, Sean, that work within the bar that have also been lied to. And many of them, when they see this truth that's been laid out on my site, they're floored. I've had RCMP officers contact me. I've had OPP officers contact me. They're finding this truth out for the very first time. They're saying, I'm, I'm, I'm floored, Christopher. I'm gobsmacked that this is what has actually been going on and that everything that I thought that I was doing to help protect and serve my fellow man, I've been committing enormous trespasses against them. See, forgiveness is a huge part of this as well. Those are the people I forgive because they've not been shown the truth. Where the rubber hits the road, Sean, is when we bring the truth out into the light. And that has to happen at a public courthouse for the whole world to see. Not on the mainstream media, not on YouTube, right? That's where the rubber hits the road, where everyone's under oath or affirmation. And in that moment, Justin Trudeau and every attorney general right across this country are all going to be arrested, okay? They're all going to be tried because the people are going to finally see what they've been doing to us because they're turning the police now on us as well. They're putting enormous pressure on the police, trying to defund them, as you've also seen around the world. They've overplayed their hand these central bankers, and they have to do this in order to get control of our consciousness and our mind. But it's, you know, just today, like I said, I got blocked from YouTube as well, shut down for a week, because I put up that incredible interview, or not interview, but live broadcast on Sunday on the Supreme Court steps in the United States of those brilliant doctors that are telling the world, the mainstream media is lying to you. There is no first round, there's no second round. This coronavirus is nothing worse than a common flu. Right? I've talked to Dolores Cahill as well, who is also very emphatic out of Ireland. She's putting together 38 common law grand juries like the Nuremberg trials. This is what we're looking to set up around the world because this is a colossal, a colossal trespass of epic proportions against our world. If we don't wake up and get this done right now, and that's why I've laid it simply out for everyone to understand, when you all realize that the rules of civil procedure, when, on my site, it shows who writes them, and it's actually the attorney general, and again, a handful of people from the society that we do not belong to called the bar. So unless they come forward and claim our property, or they have a contract, an obligation that we've consented to that, then they are not allowed to place their rules of civil procedure into any of our court cases or claims when we move them at a public courthouse. And we must understand something is that the law does not follow process. Process follows the law. So what you've been doing, Sean, all your life that I've been, well, not all your life, but for the many years here now on YouTube has just been outstanding. You've been an incredible light to this world. And I say to you from all my heart, I'm your brother to the north of you. We just need to simply bring forward this one question right now, which I'm doing with Earth United. Earth United is an incredible site that Jesse Casanova set up for our world to go to, to seal in real time now, the simple truth of the rules of civil procedure do not apply to us. And we're showing the boots on the ground that we have with all the people that are subscribing. Because when they take us down off YouTube, we have to have a way, as Sean is realizing, to communicate to everybody. And we have an incredible application that's coming out in about three weeks, Sean, that is going to blow your mind. What Jesse Casanova's created here is groundbreaking for the world. We're actually going to have a system where the world can communicate through the cellular network outside 
of the internet. And he's also going to have protection measures in there that if people, as you're saying, say they have these uh, COVID uh, agents that are coming to your house to test you or remove your children or separate you from your house, there's going to be a button that you're going to be able to press on this software. And it's going to allow you to send out a message to all your fellow man and woman that are in the area that are aware and awake to this colossal wrong and harm that's occurring. And they will come to your assistance at that hope at that house. In Ireland right now, they're actually, with Dolores Cahill, she was telling me, they're actually forming groups to physically, if they have to, fight back to protect people from being removed from their homes or their children's because everyone knows now that this COVID is a lie. This is what's insane. It's coming to that. This is the plan, it appears, in Canada, right, to put people who aren't sick in internment camps. Okay. All right, so they put it in black and white, and then when people in the parliament ask questions about it because they're deeply concerned, they get no answer. They say, just shut up and do it. Do what we say. So I think what's really effective about this conversation is your three questions. Do you claim I'm your property? No. Who can administer property without right? Well, no one. The third question is the most important. And I'd love to know what Justin Trudeau would say. Can you produce the obligation upon which you rely? What is that obligation, Christopher? If they were honest, would they say our birth certificates? (laughs) because they think (laughs) but they think they own us they literally think they own us they treat us like cattle they treat us like property and they're not hiding it anymore well this is why sean right we all need to go back this way this is so powerful go back to the moment when we were all born that trespass that occurs on paper That's what you don't realize. That's when a legal person is created. It's got nothing to do with you. Your birth certificate is evidence of identity theft. It's a record. That's it. And it's actually evidence that that's when there's two dates on everyone's birth certificate. doesn't matter where you are in the world. There's the day that you were born. And then there's the day that something was registered. Well, what was registered was that corporation when you see your name in all capital letters, right? It has nothing to do with you. You're a baby. You couldn't consciously understand anything. You couldn't enter any contracts. So there is no contract. And this is the, this is the Achilles heel. This is the keys to the kingdom for our world right now, that the rules of civil procedure don't apply to us. See, that's all the attorney general has been able to do with the Sikleski court right now that's up here in the Milton courthouse is they've just written to the registrar saying, we request that you remove this because it doesn't apply to the rules of civil procedure because our claim is calling out all these. There's 10 people that I've gone after here. And there's a word I got to jump in here, Sean, that you used. You never use the word you. The questions must be succinct in the how you communicate. You say, who claim I property. You never use the word you. Okay. You're not a you. You're a man or woman. Who is is a very specific word that relates to people, a man or a woman who claim I property, right? And you can put in there, you know, if it's Donald Trump, do who claim, does does Donald Trump claim I property? If you've got him under oath or affirmation, he's going to say, absolutely not. And who can administrate property without right, Justin or Donald? And they're going to say, well, no man can, because that's unlawful. That's right. See, we're in the right jurisdiction. We're in a lawful jurisdiction. We're not in a legal jurisdiction. The legal jurisdiction is the world of the dead. So people understand legal applies to that which is incorporated. Lawful applies to that which is not incorporated, which is a man, woman, or people, period. End of story. The word law is powerful. It stands for the three jurisdictions in this world, land, air, and water in law. So we, the people are born on the land, common law. That's the law that comes from our creator. That's the, it's, you know, people have had huge discussions about what is common law, Sean. I'm going to explain it to everybody real simple. It's when Bob or Susie trespasses against us and they cause us wrong or harm. It's that simple. You move a claim against Bob or Susie in a public courthouse saying, this is the trespass that they did. They either damaged my car. You know, they, they broke some, some property of mine. They administrated my property without right. They're in breach of a contract, whatever that wrong or harm is. You bring that into a courthouse in, courthouse in front of a jury of your peers, and you simply lay that evidence down before them. And then the other people who are acting, they're not defendants. They're the people that are appearing that have had a claim made against them of trespass. Then they have their opportunity present, to present their evidence. And this is why this, and then the jury goes away and it comes back with deliberation and it basically states whether my claim be true or not. And in that moment, the order is placed down and the judge, you do have a man wearing a robe there, a justice, not a judge and a court clerk because it's a court of record. So they keep, they make sure that there's no shenanigans going on in the courthouse as well. You present your claim, your court, you move your court as you see fit. And when you're done, the other side gets their chance. And then when the verdict comes back, if your claims be true, that's when they make you whole. And this is what's going to happen with Justin Trudeau. How do you think that these people are going to finally get around? See, everyone's under this fear. And the only thing that's going to take away fear in this world, Sean, is knowledge. And the knowledge we've just laid to everybody here very simply. This is the shtick that's going on. Everybody thinks legal applies to them. Everyone thinks that you need to use a lawyer. Do you know what a lawyer does, Sean? You always hear that they represent you. No, they don't. 
they re, you got to look at the word. It's a trick word. They represent you. Split the word apart. And you say represent you. Well, what are they representing you as? Well, now your listeners know. They're representing you as is that legal fiction, that entity that the service corporation created when you were born. That's why you go look at all the court filings across our world today, and you only have to look at the top. You're going to see that all the names are in all capital letters. That's what they're bringing in. It's the world of the dead. It's not you. Right. It's, it's massive constructive fraud. And when the people realize this, now we're going to engage and access our public courthouses properly, and we are going to have the power to move warrants and arrests for, for, for people that are doing these horrific acts today in our world quickly and powerfully. All right. Well, check this out. All right. You kept saying the rules of civil procedure don't apply to us. And I was thinking, all right, what does that mean? Words are so important, friends. Let's take a look at this. I'll do a screen share. Civil, relating to ordinary citizens and their concerns. Well, what is a citizen? Christopher has told us citizen is a slave. Citizen is not a word used in common law. If we are treated as citizens, then we are treated as their slaves. So Christopher, if you are hauled into court, whatever the situation may be, if you find yourself in court, how should you handle it? Because, you know, you're in their court. Are they going to respect this language? Well, again, you have to clarify first the, the capacity in which you're going into that court. You challenge jurisdiction. Remember, we talked about the three jurisdictions, land, air, and water, right? We're on the land. Air stands for classical canon law, and the water is the law of the sea. That's admiralty law, maritime law, which lawyers are trained in. That's where they reside. That's their jurisdiction. So to make it simple for everyone to understand, you can't have two jurisdictions in a court. You can't have a hockey team on one side and a baseball team on the other, and then that court is somehow supposed to move forward because the rules of that court obviously are going to be convoluted as hell. In this world, what we do, it's not going to happen because you always challenge jurisdiction. Before even when I have gone into a court, if it's been for traffic or whatever, I've had claims so people know uh, court cases for criminal charges against people drop before they even go to court because we're bringing this truth to people that are actually acting as attorney generals. There are some good people out there. A couple of them have actually torn up their bar cards here in Canada. So when you go into a court, the thing you always challenge is jurisdiction. Is this a legal proceeding that's moving forward here? And they're going to say, yes, you say, well, legal doesn't apply to a man or woman. And you put everything in writing, okay? So you have to understand when you, you don't speak in their court because the legal world operates with what's on paper. So you notice the court on your parents. You're making a special appearance and you provide your correct ID. When you go to my website, you're going to see the ID that I'm having people correct that I've been using for years now in the courts that shuts them down because you're addressing who is actually before them. See, there's the word who. And I stand there and say, are you looking for the creator? And you're pointing to yourself or are you looking for the created and then you hand up you hold up that birth certificate and you say i believe this court's going under a false presumption that you're looking for the created this birth certificate because all your paperwork is ref referring to that entity that was created unbeknownst to me i have nothing to do with this is there a verified claim before this court of another man or woman that i've caused wrong or harm and then you say nothing else They don't have time for all these people to learn from traffic court and stuff because we've got an enormous tsunami of horrific wrong and harm that's about to barrel down on us. And the only way we're going to route this up is we've got to gather. That's our duty around our public courthouses and move this truth into the light of this one trespass that's happened against all of us at birth because that separates and clarifies now what lawful applies to and what legal applies to and that no lawyers and their legal proceedings apply to we the people. It removes all rules, codes, statutes, and regulations, all acts, right? The Highway Traffic Act, it's the same thing. Who wrote it? right? There's always a man or woman that's putting pieces of paper in front of you in their system. So you simply say the three powerful words I teach is trespass, property, and who. You simply say, who wrote that document, right? Bring forth the man or woman that wrote that document. I don't care if it's one of them or a thousand of them. And this is where it ties back into the three questions, right? Do they claim that I'm property? Nope. Do they have, uh, can they administrate property without, right? Nope. And do they have the obligation that they can produce in which these acts, statutes, code, rules, whoever wrote them apply to I am man? No, they don't. It's no different than McDonald's if they go in their internal agents and officers create all this documentation and then they bring you into a public courthouse. But then within that public courthouse, the courthouse, the courtroom, once you walk into is actually the McDonald's court. That's what's going on. All these crown courts, right? This is how the Pope had to get control and the queen and the central bankers of every man and woman. They kill us on paper when we're born and we've never been showed that legal doesn't apply to a man or woman. Think of the ramifications of that alone. 
And that's why this light is so powerful right now, Sean. I'm going to get this done in Canada right now in the next few weeks. And when this happens, the whole world's got to see it. You've got to come to the website. You've got to subscribe. You've got to download. The claim is right there on my website, case number two, and read it. And you do not have to go past the first page, the notice of liability. It's drilling down on the rules of civil procedure. And no one to this date has ever produced a single document that they apply to I a man. And as soon as they can't do that, that woman or man that's working as the register, the court clerk at that courthouse, who is under enormous pressure right now, because they work with these rogue ones all day long for years, they develop relationships. Now all of a sudden they've got a situation where the bar, all these members of this pri private society are coming down on them to remove this from a public courthouse and stop this truth from getting into the light. Well, they failed to do that to date, Sean. And that's why I'm reaching out to Brad Blair right now, the OPP commissioner, and to bring those officers that are aware of this massive corruption that's going on with this service corporation called the Government of Ontario to the table now. That's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to do it, Sean. And the world just needs to see it happen once. We've got the evidence. It's those three simple questions. And when Doug Ford or Justin Trudeau or any other man or woman, especially these attorney generals, cannot answer those three questions, they're liable for everything they're doing because now the constructive fraud has been brought out into the light with all these attorney generals have been placing upon the people. It's constructive fraud, right? Under the color of law, they've been causing enormous wrong and harm. They've been stealing our property, our homes. They've been terrorizing us for years, right? And this is all going to stop. So like I said, it's a huge moment right now in our world. And I just want everyone to understand the simplicity of this. The rules of civil procedure don't apply to you or I. Some man or woman wrote them. If you look at my, uh, again, my live stream from October the 16th, I bring up the rules of civil procedure from the annual filings from the Supreme Court of, of uh, the Supreme Courts of uh, Canada. And it's basically, it's a corporation and it's showing you who writes the rules of civil procedure. It's, it's right in your face, but the people have never been shown this. And that's why we are at a moment right now, Sean, of biblical proportions. If we can collectively bring this truth into the light for our world, it's over. Because then people like me that have the evidence of this massive corruption and fraud. See, it applies all to the CRA. This is an estate claim that went in surrounding Michael Sukleski. His father died without a, a will. And so all of a sudden we had these eight lawyers and two justices that were involved, or three. Uh, I didn't bother going after the third one because he was in the initial stages. They have basically used all their rules of civil procedure and their processes, the, the Estate Act, the Justice Act, and a bunch of other acts that are all written and created now, you know, by the Service Corporation Ontario to administrate this man's property in a public courthouse. And he's simply written back to them, excuse me, I don't have an obligation. I'm not a member and agent or officer of the bar. So who in this, in this, in this process is going to claim that I'm property? Well, none of them can. And who in this, in this process of these 10 people that we filed claim against is going to come forward and claim that they have an obligation with me? None of them do. And they can, and they can obviously not administrate property without right. Those three questions. That's all that has to be answered for all of us right now, Sean. And the minute that that happens, which is about to happen now in Ontario, it's game on. I'm going to get into that courthouse and the warrants are going to go out for these people. And the same three questions that, uh, that occurred in the Sukleski court to take that down, expose the massive fraud and theft that's been occurring against him is going to happen for our entire world. It's a huge moment, my friend. Well, it sure is. And um, I just want people to understand that what the new world order powers that be and ought not be have cooking is that... They're talking about, as part of this big reset, this great reset, Christopher, forgiving people's debts, their mortgages, everything, credit card debt. But here's the hook. In return, you would have to give up all of your property. You would become a slave to the state, as would your offspring. And we would live as serfs in perpetuity forever. So you say this stuff is simple. It's kind of complex for those of us that are new to it. We understand yep. a lot of it, but let's take a look at your website, Christopher. I want yep. people to know it's all here. So, Christopher, before we part ways, just take us through this briefly. For those listening, where should they go first? First, go under the Foundational Knowledge tab and watch those four, three foundational videos, okay? Even the fourth one. Even though that's written for Canada, it applies to everyone in the world, which you're going to see. Once you look at that, then if you go to the Casework tab, and go to trespass case number two. Okay, and then you scroll down in the page. You scroll down on the page now. It's already, yeah, see it right there? Sukleski court claim filed. I want everyone in the world to download that and read that. You're going to see how powerful this claim is. Okay, there's a notice of liability. Now, here's the funny part of this, Sean. I didn't realize this when we were putting this together, but I spelt liability wrong at the top. And I just want people to understand something is that when you move your claim in court, 
in a public courthouse, it doesn't matter really ultimately what's written on paper. You have to bring the evidence forward of the wrong and harm that's occurred. This is simply a format to establish the court that is moving forward, that process that we talked about. But once you're in that courtroom and you are holding court in front of a jury of your peers, 12 people, or a grand jury of 25, you can present your case properly to them and they're not going to say, oh, we spelt the, note of the, liability, the word liability wrong. So that all of a sudden nullifies this man's entire claim and case. You can see how simply this has been laid out. There's the whole claim right there, right? This is going to expose the CRA, the taxation, same with the IRS in the United States, right? Everything that you're getting in your country, that you're getting a bill from the IRS has that all capital names. That's why this is so powerful. And it is really so simple. Once you go, and I would further say, if you see the tab you have there, My Streams, then go to My Streams, right over on the first, yep. And when you click on My Stream page, then it will take you to the YouTube page there. And as you go down, on my websites, it's here, but also look for Warrior Calls on YouTube and look at all my streams. They just began on August the 6th of this year and they finished, I do one a week. And then they've, the last one was last week. If everyone watches the first of four foundational videos, then they come back, Sean, and they watch my live streams to date, you are gonna be fast tracked very quickly and consciously to this truth that's in this world. And I've done this for this world. I'm giving, putting man or woman right now because I'm standing in truth. I'm standing on top of a mountain and I'm reaching down to my fellow man and woman to pull them all up to, to sow them the simple path across to freedom here that we've never been free from the moment that we've taken our first breath. And we have before us here right now, a moment to actually change that, Sean. And that's why I'm so proud and honored to be with you here today. Well, I'm so glad you're able to come on. I'm glad we were able to finally do this broadcast. And again, I think it's serendipitous that we waited a month because I didn't know about these documents coming out of Canada. Okay, guys, they're laying out their plan. I don't think they're hiding their depopulation plan and their agenda any longer. They want your guns. They want you chipped. They want you to be a slave. And for those who don't comply, they're just going to take you away. Yep. I really do I was, worry that that's where we're headed, Christopher. Yep. And if I can just say one thing that I wanted to touch on, what you were, again, incredible. I just, that's why I love you, Sean. You're so, you're so knowledgeable and you, you do your research before you talk about things. When you were speaking about what they're putting forth in Canada here, this is what they're proposing. Not proposing, this is what they're going to enforce. They're going to pay off everyone's debts. All your mortgages, all your credit cards, everything they're saying because this, this COVID virus has just destroyed the global economy, which we all know is BS, right? They're going to pay off everyone's debts, but in return, you have to submit to vaccination program. And if you don't submit to the vaccination program, then that's when they're going to separate you. And they're going to try and talk to you, they say, to convince you to take the vaccination. And then you can go back into the public with a health pass that allows you to travel freely around this country. This is beyond Orwellian. This is worse than anything that happened in the Second World War. And that's why my fellow man and woman have to rise up and get on their heels and understand the simplicity of this truth from this unlawful conversion that happens when we're born to that the rules of civil procedure don't apply to us at a public courthouse. And then it's game on, my friend. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for those kind words. I just want to say as we part, uh, I just want to say as we part ways, friends, what we're talking about here, what we're experiencing this is exactly what happens when a group of private banking families get together, control the printing presses of the world, and ensnare every nation state around the globe in unrepayable debt. They use the money that they create, the currency, I should say, it's not money, gold and silver is money. They use the currency as a weapon. And what is the ultimate weapon? To get you all so damn deep in debt. That when they come and say, we will forgive your debt if you agree to be our slave. And that's what's coming. It's unbelievable to me, Christopher, because it wasn't that long ago that Alex Jones did an interview with Aaron Russo. And Aaron Russo told us, this is what's coming. He talked about the chip. That was what, back in 2000, maybe seven, six, 2004? Oh, yeah. it was a long wasn't time. that damn long ago. Yep. It wasn't that darn long ago. And here we are, COVID-19. COVID-21, yep. take the vaccine. Yep. All right. Yep. Guys, the website is awarriorcalls.com. Our guest has been Christopher James. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much, Sean, and God bless. Well, God bless you, and God bless the truth tellers. It's clear that YouTube doesn't want any truth on their platform. Guys, if you had any doubt that we were in a war, look no further than what the social media giants are doing. They're colluding. YouTube colluded internally to take down dozens of truth news channels, again, including X22 Report, Red Pill 78, Amazing Polly, Just Informed Talk, SGT Report, so many, all 
colluded. They colluded to take us all down on the same exact day. And then Amazing Polly got deplatformed, depersoned by PayPal. And on the 19th of October, MailChimp deactivated my account. It's all coordinated collusion. It's absolutely criminal and evil. All right, guys, you can find me at sgtreport.tv. You can also find SGT Report on BitChute. And now on Rumble, we've got the SGT Report podcast. You can search for that on iTunes. And again, Christopher, thank you so much. I'll talk to you again soon. You keep us posted, okay? I sure will, brother. Thank you. Love you lots to my brother and sisters in the United States. We have to unite. This is for all of us right now. Yeah, amen. Together we're strong, guys. Together we're strong. Look, that's why they deleted, that's why they terminated or quote-unquote suspended all those channels on October 15th. Millions of subscribers combined between all the channels. They want us silenced because we are winning the war for hearts and minds in the town square. Previously on the world's largest town square, YouTube. But guess what? We're not going away. We are not going away. And we will win this fight if we stand together and speak truth. All right, friends, thank you so much for tuning in. Again, for real news every single day, 24-7, visit us directly at sgtreport.com. That's the antidote to corporate propaganda and mockingbird mainstream media lies. Much love, friends. God bless. Bye-bye.